friends. We can be friends, right? How many hands are shaking? Well, I have plenty of oil. A nice little chemistry pot here. Whoa. Oh, okay, I gotta go up. technology. Me a rock. Shut up, George. Nobody cares about your feelings. No, oh, no, oh, let me jump up. Let me jump up. Can I jump on this thing now? There we go. Nope. No, no, yeah. No, no. Oh god, please. Why? Jumping. You should not be this difficult.
That's my wall. George, you can't cross that line. Goddamn pyramid right here. I mean, fuck you, Barrel. Nobody gets a shit about you. Yeah, everybody knows the pyramid has a stable base. Very stable base. Stable. Stable. <laughs> what the fuck? Stable base. Stable base. Oh, look at that beautiful pile of boxes. And before I knock it all over. Okay, okay. Just, just nice and easy. Just to squeeze. I have no fucking clue how I get among this shit. Do I really just have to like... Oh my god. I just have to pull this shit out of the way, don't I? Or something like that. Oh, I am a fucking genius. I'm using that term very loosely. I'm like trying to like jump over the fucking raptors and shit. But all I have to do. Let's <sighs> just pull stuff out of the way. So easy. Shh. There's nobody here. I don't know why there's all these rocks moving around. George, you can go somewhere else. No, not really, you don't have to take care of me. Welcome. George, it's okay, I'm gonna give you a hug. Don't worry. I didn't do it. 
Okay, we have we have our safety escape if need be. <sighs> my name is Vil House of Gerich. So my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the Castle Brennenburg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order could want from me. I accepted the invitation. Baron was friendly and asked me, oh, offered me a proposition. Proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past, not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon this slightest whim, and do so without asking questions. In return, uh, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. So pretty good, pretty good deal. So you just, you know, kidnap people off of, uh, you know, the, the street, the roads, and uh, you know, you uh, you get better standing uh, with your with your subjects, with your people. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children to Brennenberg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Well, that's just great. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my men drank without restraint. So began the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolical, diabolical ways. I can't talk to him. My men are screaming. Their skin is being pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes. And I can no longer... <laughs> well, he, he went down like a gentleman. Like a gentleman would, clearly. And, uh, let's see if George is here to greet us. So, I'm streaming right now. Go up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Okay, 